this is Feed Your Mind. And so there's this French scientist who goes by the name of Klein. And so he releases this photograph of the nearest star. And so the nearest star to Earth is Proxima Centauri. That's the name of this star. And they say this star is 4.2 light years away, according to the science. Now, we're going to get into a lot of information about stars in upcoming videos. But for now, let's focus on this story at hand. And so Klein, he releases this photo. The Internet loves it. The social media picks it up. They start sharing it. They're amazed by this new picture from the Webb telescope. And then Klein comes out and... Well, he apologizes because he admits that this picture is simply a slice of salami. Yeah. So literally, he took a picture of a slice of sausage salami and releases it and says this is a picture of a star from the James Webb telescope and everyone fell for it. And so, yeah, this guy, Klein, he's a scientist. And so he comes out and he um, he apologizes. He says, well... You know, this was pretty much a uh, experiment. He wanted to see literally how easy it is for the general public to ama be amazed over simple photographs and images. Yeah. So basically he's saying that he thinks people need to be more skeptical. And when I say people, I'm talking about the general public. He basically says the general public needs to be more skeptical of images that they get from authority figures. So he's saying simply because you see an image and you're being told what it is and you're just fanboying over it. He's basically saying this behavior is disturbing. And so I'm wondering if this scientist has come across information that we all have came across on this channel where we figured out that the images that we're receiving from these space agencies are all manipulated and compromised. They're literally CGI photos, most of them, and others are basically stuff they put together in Photoshop. They have all these techniques. They have several techniques that they use to put these amazing images out to the general public and this scientist wants people to start paying attention and read the small print because most of the small print will tell you that these pictures have been manipulated and generated using computers and stuff so this is what i've been saying basically for a very long time now i called out People like Woodward TV and Mud Fossils who love all these pictures from these agencies who put these pictures out. The general public loves these pictures as well. But I put more weight on the so-called truthers who are skeptical about everything else. But yet they can't seem to figure out that they're being trolled with these so-called pictures from outer space and these so-called pictures from these so-called space probes and stuff like that. And so this French scientist, he was pressured to come out and apologize, like he's, like I said. And then he actually released some so-called official images from the James Webb telescope after the backlash. So he said, well, here's the real pictures from the James Webb telescope. And aren't they brilliant and amazing? So... I think he kind of did that almost it looks like to save his career because you can't come out and, and do stuff like this really when you're in the scientific community. Mud Fossil's already figured this out. He's been on to a lot of stuff and discoveries about uh, fossils that he says are proof of giants and other things like that. So the scientist community completely shut him down and they ignore him they don't give him any credibility he thinks that he can be accepted by these people but no they're they're ordered not to look into anything that goes outside of the mainstream narrative so he will never be accepted 
with his findings. They'll suppress it. They'll hide it. They'll do whatever they will do to make sure his findings don't reach the public or or make they'll make sure that his findings aren't accepted into scientific literatures or anything like that. So it's the same thing with these pictures. I mean, this guy, it sounds like he figured out what's going on with these pictures because even the pictures of Earth, the average general public person and even the average truther and the average scientist, they don't they don't understand that there is no pictures of the Earth. They don't even understand that. They don't understand that the so-called footage of the sun is CGI animation. I have all the proof that you need on this channel where you can confirm this stuff for yourself or you can find it elsewhere and figure it out for yourself as well. But there's no pictures of the earth. There's no pictures. Well, there's no footage of the sun when people are analyzing the sun data like Dabu and them and um, others. And there's no pictures of outer space. These are all manipulated images. And this guy Klein wants the world to figure that out. Because once we figure that out, it's going to be much harder to fool the average person. Once you realize that you can't just take things at face value. You can't just be shown a picture and be like, oh, well, that's incredible and amazing without questioning it. And so, and so this guy, the scientist Klein, he calls this whole thing a scientist joke. He's saying it was a big laugh. He was just trolling everyone. And I don't know. What do you guys think? Was this guy Klein? Did he figure out that the images that we're getting of planets and everything is fake? And he wants, is this his way of letting the world know what he figured out without getting fired from being a scientist it almost looks that way to me but i'd like to know your thoughts in the comment section i'm gonna leave a link so you can check out this whole thing that happened with um klein and in this image that he released so i'll leave a um, video so you can check out the official mainstream news report on this subject um and let me know your thoughts, like I said, about everything we discussed in this video. I'm going to leave some links for you. Uh, I'm going to leave a link so you can sign up to my free email newsletters. I'm also going to leave links so you can uh, sign up to my social media and my other channels. I'm also going to leave a link if you would like to support this channel and help keep Feed Your Mind online. You can donate as little as a dollar and your donation will help me put out more documentary style videos with Lots of visuals, well edited, well presented, those types of videos. Those takes those types of videos take a lot longer than my podcast style videos. So your um, your support is appreciated. So thank you for tuning in. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. This has been Feed Your Mind. All links are in the comment section and description box signing off.